Okay, we're back. Uh, last time I showed you how to uh, start a beer using the Bittner 225L, and today I'm going to show you how to bottle the beer. Prime it, transfer it, fire it, and then bottle it. Very easy. Uh, so about uh, the last video we started the uh, Cerveza beer kit, and my customer, it was for a customer, and they bottled it up and they were kind enough to leave me a bottle so I'm gonna it's been sitting now for about 10 days uh, room temperature to self prime so we're gonna open up that in a minute um, and I'll show you how that is but uh, right now we're gonna transfer the uh, this is my beer actually we're gonna try it's the Munich Dark Lager uh, you're gonna transfer it over here prime it and bottle it and I'll show you how easy that is. Okay, but first, we always uh, sterilize the lines and the pumps. We grab the lines. And we get them up. And we pour the solution in the back here. Oh, I just got to throw a little bit of sulfite in my water here. Now, just before I started this video, I, I rinsed up the secondary, just give it a flush because it's been sitting for about 10 days. And uh, we're going to transfer that over now. So, the uh, primary is the one with the product in it, so we're going to put that, put that up to the in part of the pump, like so. And we're going to remove the Male coupling from my other one and hook that up to the secondary. So it's all ready to go. I'm going to start it. There she goes. So now we're going to add some priming sugar to this as it's pumping through. This comes with the kit and it's uh, 170 grams of dextrose or corn sugar. Uh, I don't like my beer carbonated that much. So I'm going to put in about half that. And just dump it in here. Approximately half that package. Now when we did the uh, survey of the other week, but then they know we, uh, we did put the full package in, so it'll be interesting to see how much carbonation is in that one. So that's pumping through. Take my clean spear stick. Just give that a stir. Now it helps too when you're pumping it through because uh, the primary fermentation creates a lot of carbon dioxide within the, within the beer itself. So when you pump it through, it gets rid of that carbonation, makes it a lot easier to bottle. So it's pretty foamy in here right now. It's getting, all, it's getting rid of all that gas, CO2 gas that's in it. Okay, while we wait for that, we might as well see how this beer is. Grab my glass here. Yeah, a little bit of pop here. Yeah. 
I don't know you can see that. But, uh, that's the cerveza. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's got lots of bite. Yeah, that's pretty good beer. And actually, the combination is not that bad. So maybe I will just put in the rest of this package. I've got all my bottles sitting here, they're all ready to go. I like these uh, Continental big ones. You don't have to worry about caps all the time. But they're 500 mils, so they're a little bit bigger for a pint size. If you're going to have a beer, you might as well have a beer. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Um, now we're just waiting for this to pop over. We're about halfway done now. Turn that in a little bit more. Beer and cider is very easy to make compared to that. Well, wine is also very easy too. It just takes a lot longer. But the beer we started 10 days ago. And um, as soon as the customer bottled that beer, I threw in my I just rinsed out the primary and, and quick rinse out, get most of the yeast out, and then I just put the, the unit kit in there and started it and away it went. So that was about 10 days ago. So it's about 10 days in the primary, then we bottle it, so we transfer it over, prime it and bottle it, and then you have to wait another 10 days, and then you can just throw whatever you want into the fridge. Enjoy your beer then. Okay, we're almost there. Might as well get my chair ready here. It's also a good idea to just put a little uh, cloth down on the floor, just underneath the bottling book, because you can always get some drippage off of that whenever you're bottling. A lot of times when you're bottling, too. Even when I degas the beer, it still won't fill up properly without some foam. So I just set that aside and keep filling some more and that foam will go down and then I'll just top it up later on. Tell, I almost got to where I wanted it, but still a little foamy, so I just set that aside and grab another one. This one looks better, not so foamy. That's how easy it is to bottle your beer. But the vendor is $25. Okay, so now we're 
drop this one out now a little bit. It's a little bit foamy. But I think you get the idea. So uh, that's what you probably got. And that's how you bottle beer. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just going to carry on here until I'm done and go home. Alright, thanks.